Colonel Amy Glisson returned to the Air Force Academy in July of 2023 as the commander of the 10th Air Base Wing. She is now in charge of over 3,000 people who take care of the Academy's cadets and the 25,000 personnel that make up this community just north of Colorado Springs. This hard-driving professional officer didn't become a great leader overnight. She says it all started with her learning how to perform well as a gymnast. It is such an individual sport and that you are on the line uh, and it is you and how much how hard you practice, how much you put into it, uh, and then you get to go display that uh, and kind of put that out there to be judged in public, if you will. Um, but I found so much um, fulfillment in knowing that how hard I worked in the gym equated to how hard and how well I would perform. That mindset led Amy to state titles as a young gymnast in Tennessee, plus it allowed her a way back to Colorado, a state her family left when she was in the fourth grade, but she never lost a love for. She admits that it took a while for a less than model cadet to learn about servant leadership. Those experiences and how much I pushed against the system as a cadet uh, have taught me how to understand um, taking risk, making prioritization you know, decisions uh, as an Air Base Wing Commander, and then any time between then and now. And so the experiences that I had and kind of in that testing system of what I did uh, have made me a great leader. After graduating from the Academy, Glisson learned compassion taking care of personnel at her first job at Effie Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming. She continued to care for personnel at Bowling Air Force Base, then joined the Thunderbirds as executive officer in 2006, all the while mixing a caring spirit with teamwork she learned as a member of the Academy's gymnastics team. When I got to come here to the Air Force Academy and I saw what we were able to do as a gymnastics team, really started to understand that power and that I can have a great day or I could have a not so great day, but then the team is there to kind of pick up and push. And so it really opened up uh, my understanding of team dynamics. Throughout her more than 20 years as an officer in the Air Force, Colonel Glisson has grown into the type of leader that many get fired up to work for. Her mix of teamwork while understanding individuality and an extreme sense of compassion were put to use just prior to coming to the Academy. As commander of the 86th Mission Support Group at Ramstein Air Base in Germany, she assisted the human side of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. It was a huge time of consequence. And so I didn't have a team. I had been in the seat 56 days. I, I barely knew anyone. Uh, and so how do I build this collaborative team to then kind of manage 35,000 Afghans, right? That are in the fight and flight of their lives and they have no idea what they've left nor do they have any idea what they're headed into. So it was all about the people and understanding that that was the mission. We used to call them the big five, but it was food, shelter, security, accountability, and connectedness. And so those are the things that really mattered to us. And I think all of the experiences from the academy through my entire Air Force career couldn't have prepared me better to be at that time of consequence and in a position to actually affect change. Perhaps the most amazing part of her story is that despite personal hardships all along the way, her father's death while she was a cadet, to the premature birth of her son, to her mother's recent passing, wherever Colonel Amy Glisson goes, she affects change for the better, much better. But I think that all of those collected experiences that happen on the personal side have given me an incredible amount of empathy to understand that there's more to you than your uniform, there's more to you than the name that's on your uniform, but there is an entire human that's in there and that they have things that are going on in their lives that we can't even see. I share a lot of what I've been through with all of my teams uh, and they know that about me and so I think that that has a little bit of some strength um, in being able to connect with people.